Now here is the man that the magicians call the professor. Truly a magician's magician. Mr. Die Vernon. give you a kind of a little moral lesson tonight why you shouldn't play cards with strangers or why you shouldn't bet on another man's game. Now, most magicians try to fool you, but I'm going to explain a very ancient game with cards. He used to play these, this game on the Mississippi boats years ago and fleece people out of hundreds of dollars. Now, there's one red ace and two black cards, and the idea was a very simple game. You had to guess where the red card was thrown. Now, first of all, I'll explain how the cards were thrown. You could throw them like that. You could show the red card and throw them that way and throw the red over there. Or you could also throw and cross your hands and throw the red in the center. But you had to guess where it was. Now, we don't take advantage of ladies. Now, Marty is a very observing, shrewd man, and I know he, he has eyes like a hawk. But anyway, it doesn't matter whether he wins or loses because there's no money involved here tonight. Now, Marty, you can see, when I throw the cards like yes. that, I'm going to do it very slowly the first time. Now, where's the red ace? I believe it's here, sir. Now, don't guess. Now, you, use your eyes. <laughs> use your eyes. Now, wait a minute. I'll do it again. Now, watch this very closely. The red ace. There's yes, the red ace. There are only two black cards. Yes, sir. In the old days, they used to have a little rhyme. They used to say, a little game from Hanky Poo. The black for me, the red for you. Ten dollars gets you twenty, twenty gets you forty. You can wager any amount you wish. And it's a, such a simple game. Now watch it again. I'll do it very slowly this time. The red card. And that's the one you have to watch. Now you know where it is. Here? Where? There? No, you're wrong again. I'm sorry you lost. <laughs> How much money have you lost so far? Now, let me show that's you. Excellent. Now I'll show you why this I'll show you why this game fools the eye. It fools the eyesight. The quickness of the hand deceives the eye. That's a very trite statement, but it's true. Now let me show you. Anybody can tell where that card goes. That's a single card. But when I have two cards in my hand, it's hard to see whether I throw the bottom one or whether I throw the top one, because it looks the same. But this time, I'm going to show you why you can't win at this game, even if you pick the right card. Now, I'll do it very slowly this time. I show you black here and black here. Now, naturally, you think the red is over there, but you see, that's black. And you look at this one. That is black. And if they, they lose on this one because the red is over there. <laughs> Just nod your head, that's all. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I'm trying to, trying to make a little money here at this table. Marty has plenty of money, and I'm going to try to get a little of it. Look, Marty, there are two black cards. Yes, sir. And one red one. Yes, sir. That's an ace of hearts, and fortune-telling. That's a very, a very wonderful emotional card. But anyway, the nine of spades, two nines of spades, and an ace of hearts. Now, you ought to be able to tell whether I can throw the bottom card or whether I can throw the top card. Perhaps you'd like to guess, Bill. Would you guess? Look, uh -huh. now look. Here's a red card. Now, you can tell which one I saw. Don't watch the black. That's black here. This is black here. Now, remember, these are both black. These cards are both black. This is black, and this is a red one. Now, see if you can't tell where the red one goes. And I'll do it very slowly. Very slowly this time. I'm going to cross my hands and make it a little difficult. Now, where's the red one? I think that is red. Oh, it's bent a little. Yeah. It's bent on the corner. Well, that's unfortunate. You lost it. <laughs> In the old days, you know, that's a three-card trick. That, that fleeced a lot of people out of money. Another game that fleeced people out of money was the three-shell game. Now, a lot of people don't know where the shell game originated. It originated from this old-time trick. This dates back many thousands of years, one of the ancient tricks. In the old days, they used to judge a magician's skill by how well he does this trick. But I'm going to explain first. Will you look at, look at that cup, see that are free from guile? That one has a little guile in it. Mine's guile. Yeah, it's yeah. a restaurant. All right. Now, watch this very closely. You see, these are made of sterling silver, and one will pass through the other like this. Now, now, the reason for that, there's a reason for everything. If you measure the inside depth of the cup, you see it's deeper on the inside than it is on the outside. Oh. Oh. I, explain, oh. I explain everything as I go along. You can't go along. I'm going to stand up so you can see this better. Now, these are three little crocheted balls. They have little knitted sweaters on. Do you see them? Yes, sir. They're not collapsible. They're no. three little balls. One for each cup. Now, I want you to watch this as close as you can. Now, this is done right under your nose. 
I never try to fool a lady. I mean, her a charming girl. Never. Now, I want you to watch as closely as you can. I'm going to do everything very, very slowly. The first ball. A gentle tap like that. You have to have the magic wand to do that. Now, every time I do this, people are suspicious. They think the ball is not actually in the hand. The ball is actually there. It's all in the power of the magic wand. When I do that, it jumps back to its little home again underneath the cups, you see? <laughs> Now watch this very closely. Look, I'll put them back. One there, one there, and one there. Now you take the wand. I relinquish the magical power. You are the powerful one now. Now there are three cups there. You can choose any cup you like. Make up your mind and touch anyone with the wand. Touch anyone you like. That one. Push it forward on the table with the wand. Now look, I'll take this ball from here. Watch. Right under the cup you asked me to. Now lift it up. Lift it up yourself and see if it's under there. See, it's no longer here, you see, no longer here. Now, it wouldn't have made any difference. It wouldn't have made any difference if you'd asked me to make it go to this side. I'd have to be ambidextrous to take the ball that way, and it would go right over there, you see. So we'd have three over there. Now, I'll show you how this works. Now, let me show you how it works. I'll show you. If you do that, all three balls come together. Now, these balls will actually penetrate these solid sterling silver cups. I'm going to make them penetrate two cups at a time. Watch this. Look, right through. Right through two cups. Watch this. Goes right through. Two balls, two cups. There they are. Let's see if I can get another one on there. Watch. Up, L.A. All oh. Oh. Now, Woody, will you... I mean, Marty, excuse me. Will you cover, cover each one? You cover that one. You cover that. I'd like you, to bring my agent over and put them cover under one this. of these. <laughs> <laughs> you cover this one. Now, you know, the reason this thing is a little bit perplexing to some of you who are not paying attention, because I have three of these balls, I have the three cups, I have the one, and I talk and jabber all at the same time. So it becomes confusing. Now, I'm going to make this trick so simple that a small boy of five years of age could understand it. I'm going to put one of these balls back in my pocket. I'll put this one back in my pocket, and I'll put this one back. Now, if I put these two away, that leaves one here, right? But this one has returned. Now, the reason for that is very simple. You see, you watch the wrong hand. When I do like this, people look over here. They should be looking here. Now, I, clip it, I pretend to put it in my pocket. I bring it down with my pinky, and I roll it behind the cup, and it looks as if it was there, but it's not actually there at all. But if I was honest and put the ball in my pocket, how many there? How many? Don't be afraid to say. How many? Two. Two? No, well, you're close. There's three there. <laughs> now, look, let me show you. Now, look. Now, here's three. Look. There's one, two, three. Will you count them into my hand? Make sure there are three. One, two, three. Now, if I'm honest about it and put all three away, and there's still one under the center cup, I must use a fourth ball. Well, I'm honest about it. I do. There's a fourth. <laughs> I have one here. And I have one. 